Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Friday, 27 March. I'm, I'm fairly inconsolable here. Um, just don't, don't have enough on. In fact, I have zero on now, short dollars. Uh, we called at the beginning of the week. We had some dollar Norway on, which was maybe the sexiest position alive. We had some euros on, which was which was tough. Here's dollar Norway. Pardon me while I throw up. We sold this fucker at eleven forty-two. Mercy, it's a lesson. Um, you know, we run two books here. We run a uh, tactical book and we run a medium-term book. And the medium-term book is where you get paid. The tactical book smooths out the P&L of the medium-term book. Uh, so you have like a sexy sharp, right? Our sharp's like five. Um, besides the technicalities of all that, the point of it is, is when you have, um, when you're presented with an idea that's powerful, that's it's a huge change, like we were with the USQE. Um, you you need to get paid. Uh, you need to get paid a lot in this business uh, when you're so right. Um, and I didn't do that this week, so I'm, I'm fucking angry, and uh, it's annoying. Uh, to make matters worse, yesterday at the fix, we were looking for a die, uh, dollar buy fix, and the tactical book, you know, chipped away and gave some money away there. So I'm, I'm in a right foul mood today. So I'll make this quick. I don't want to spread the vinegar out into the ether here. Let's look and see what's happened. Uh, Euro 110.63, the high has been 86. Can't really chase this now. You want to try and buy euros on the dips. Perhaps one of these fixes um, is going to be dollar buy. You can fade that. That might be interesting, but there's no point in chasing this now. Um, we're now 400 points from the lows. Let's just see if we can get some consolidation and a good place to enter. Cable uh, back up through the pivot, 120. Here we are, 122.60. Again, don't want to chase this now. Same story. Dollar Swiss. A little bit easier to chase just because it's less fall. You can sell this back up towards uh, 96 and a half, 97. Dollar yen looks like it's just going to zero. Don't know what to say. I guess you could sell this uh, back at 109 if you see it. Cross yens don't really matter. Dollar czar might get downgraded today. Czar might get downgraded, so keep an eye on that. Aussie to the moon. Um, Kiwi also to the moon dollar CAD through the key excuse me we talked about this yesterday 141.50 fucked around there uh, so it was a hard trade but just going back to 132 now um, and then here's a little tricky devil um, gold Talked about longs yesterday, 16 and 28. Of course, we ended up, you know, we sold out of those to pay for the misery uh, that was going on elsewhere, short Aussie and, and other idiotic trades yesterday. So we're square gold again. Watching this closely, um, looking for some fix anomalies maybe, uh, and keeping an eye on 1700. But gold should go higher. Bonds. We have this massive stock purchase bond sale, a rebalancing on these sort of 60-40 portfolios. You saw it yesterday. There were six yards to buy on the close. Here's a stock chart. Stocks ramped yesterday. That was a ramp, man. 6%. We're heading right into this massive resistance, 2,700. Um, we're, we're sellers up here. Right now, there's nothing to do. Uh, just wait. Be patient. Boons, we're going to pop through this 171.50. I hope you have some um, some room just to, to resell. 
uh, boons are still still a sell. And then crude. Crude's lagging. We're still watching this 25.25. It looks better on the four hourly chart. Crude is lagging. If you believe crude drives the bus, stocks are way, way too high. Uh, but this month end buying, I don't know, you saw John, you saw Paul Tudor Jones on TV yesterday talking about there's a lot of stocks to be bought. Um, he's right. Like he's right about a lot of stuff. Um, so be patient selling stocks, but crude is saying stocks are too high. So be careful if you're long stocks. Uh, we are not long stocks. Anyway, focus today uh, will obviously be the fix. Um, we'll be watching gold closely, trying to nibble on a good gold long. Um, and then we'll be maybe trying to sell some dollar Swiss if we get lucky on any kind of a bounce. Good luck out there, people. Good trading today. I will uh, talk to you on Monday. Ciao.